spent quite a bit of time in South Africa and Mozambique looking at how mobile technologies could be useful. I think there's a tendency when we look at innovation today that we think immediately of iPads and smartphones. The important thing is to lead with the problem, lead with the people, and the answer may be a crayon at the end of the day. I was meeting lots of non-profits working in rural areas who were also very interested in figuring out how they could use phones. But people weren't building tools that to me seemed to particularly work very well in those places. When I set out to solve the communication problems that I saw in, in South Africa, that's really all I was trying to do. Just really sticking to the root thing that we were trying to solve. It's sending a text message to somebody and getting a reply back. I don't know specifically where the idea came from. It, it really did just appear and I scribbled some notes down. Most of the things I was interested in were the problems. It was conservation or human rights or agriculture or climate change. All this stuff bugged me. You can't do all those things, but I somehow managed to create a piece of software that allows me to contribute to all the things that concern me all in one go. Frontline SMS turns a, a low-cost laptop computer and a mobile phone and a cable into a two-way text messaging system which allows non-profits working in developing worlds to run automated text messaging services with rural communities and you can use it with very, very little computer skills or experience. For healthcare workers, farmers, human rights activists, election monitors, whoever you're trying to communicate with, type a message and send it to all of those people. SMS is, in a sense, quite an old technology. It's been around for a long time um, and hence it's so accessible. The fact is there's five billion mobile phones in the world today and that's a very accessible technology, whereas the internet isn't so accessible. I think before Ken, there was always either or. Use a laptop or use a mobile phone. Being a country that is 25 million people on mobile phones, so you can't really you, you can't really avoid that platform. But secondly, yes, you have a mobile phone, but you need something that enables, that can harness the power of that phone. When I released the software in 2005, we had our first user in Zimbabwe after about a week, and I was very excited to have one user. Suddenly in April 2007, a loose coalition of Nigerian NGOs took the software and helped monitor their national elections. And it was the first time it's believed that African NGOs have monitored their own elections using mobile technology. I think suddenly the idea that, that everyday citizens could actually report things changed the way people thought about how they might go about trying to swing an election. Uh, and I think that's had a, a wider impact in you know, all around the world. I think people that put their necks on the line for that type of work, the least I can do is do my best to support them. I'm not on the, the front line of this. Uh, they are. Harass map was really concerned with the level of harassment on Egyptian streets, so they created an SMS service using Frontline SMS to allow people to send reports when they experienced harassment. They also used an online crowdsourced mapping tool so that they could then respond to the areas where harassment was most prevalent. One of the key things with Frontline SMS is as an organisation we don't deploy the software ourselves in developing countries. We make it available to existing non-profits and grassroots organisations. If we hadn't open sourced it we would not have had this rich ecosystem of developers. People working in certain sectors have identified some additional functionality that can be added to the software which makes it more useful and more relevant. Frontline SMS Medic are building patient record keeping systems that are powered by text message. Frontline SMS credits are building microfinance modules and the newest one coming out later in the year, Frontline SMS Media, will allow us to build citizen journalism, data collection, um, news story tools to report things that are happening uh, where they are. When you get a group that has been oppressed, that has been so dispossessed, and all of a sudden they find something that, that renews that hope, for me that's, that, that becomes a really inspiring moment and that is where change happens. The logo for Frontline SMS um, here on this badge is uh, backslash lowercase o forward slash. It's a text representation of somebody who would feel empowered, which is the message that the software seems to give. It's textable because it uses standard characters available on the keyboards. And also we get photographs from users in the field actually sending in workshops and their staff feeling, yes, we've got our system running and we're, we're empowered. So we see our role very much as building tools and allowing the people who actually own the problem 
to solve it.